man mutilated and murdered for quote unquote sacrilege against Sikh holy book in India. On October 15th, Lakbir Singh, a Dalit Sikh, was found hanging from a police barricade with his left hand and foot cut off. The police immediately brought him to the hospital where he was pronounced dead upon arrival. According to a local, local news outlet, the incident happened during the ongoing for, farmers protest in India. Several Nihan Sikhs, a martial sect within a Sikhism, claimed that the victim had committed sacrilege. The exact action taken by the victim is still unknown. Some witnesses claim he had torn a page from the um, Sarblo Granth, a Sikh religious book. Some said he threw the book in a trash can. Others claimed he attempted to run away with it or even burn it. The 35-year-old victim is a father of three and a farm laborer from a village in the Punjab province. His family stated Lakbir was a devotee of Guru Gobind Singh, and he could never do something so sinful. Several arrests have been made in uh, regards to this crime. Wait, so sinful? Was it? Was that referring to? To what? the alleged sacrilege in any form. Oh my God! They're concerned about. Wait. I might have, I was paying attention to that. They, they, when they were referring, like, so nobody would do something this sinful. They were not referring to cutting somebody up in pieces. They were referring to the sacrilege. The victim's family was saying yeah. what he's been accused of can't be true. He would never do something so sinful. Um, why is that even? Oh my God. Well, because they're, they're Sikhs, they're devotees as well. I know, but it's amazing where everyone's priorities are. Like we cut, they murder and cut somebody up in pieces. And they're like, oh yeah, he would never do something like that. And like, he would not do something so sacrilege. Like, who cares? We're talking about cutting up a, a human being. Like, don't you like, well, do you I get think, what I'm saying? Armin, yeah. I think it's yeah. totally reasonable for a religious family to say, Hey, what you were saying to Wait. as an excuse to murder our family member and defame his name is not true. Well, I mean, I don't think you could put religious and reasonable in the same sentence, but okay. Um, no, I, no, I'm actually in the way that I used it. Yes. Yeah. I I actually think this shows how far gone from common sense religion has gotten where we actually have to defend where we get to the you know i mean has gotten has always been like the fact that we have to defend a victim of a murder no, you know the fact that they just been murdered is not enough and we have to actually say like defend the victim by saying this guy didn't actually tear apart a piece of paper as if that matters when it comes to something in re, in in relationship to such a out you know horrible crime i think that shows that even the victims feel like like there's two crimes being committed against this this victim one he was murdered and cut into pieces also he's being accused of sacrilege like do you not see why why putting these next to each other shows that how how screwed the priorities of the religious community is like honestly i don't even need you don't even need to add like when it comes to sane people you don't even need to add in defense of the person that they didn't commit sacrilege because this person was murdered like it's not like oh here's what i'm trying to say it's almost as if his murder would have been justified if he had committed sacrilege, that's, that's, that's what I want. Okay. To that's yeah. what you're getting at. Yeah. I totally yeah. get it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's really, and then not to mention the fact that, um, his, so there have been at least three people who have been arrested in connection to his murder and they were all celebrated, widely celebrated. Wow. Um, I can show you a few pictures. Yeah. D was saying this as well. Okay. So guys, we thought okay so if we only refer to this murder only 
you might say like, okay, this is a very Sikh, the Sikh community doesn't do stuff like that. This was just a one-off thing. Be careful. No. Suze, so be careful what you're showing on the screen. There were pictures of, there, there could have been pictures of murder and stuff like that. Be very careful. Yeah, no, I was. No, I saw that might have been. Be more careful what you're showing. Show individual pictures, not collages of pictures. Okay. Yeah, they like so guys, the C community does have a huge like sensitive do not sacrilege our holy stuff problem. Like this is like the image that a lot of people have of oh Sikh people I always have great experience with Sikh people, Sikh people are great. I mean I'm sure most of them are, but we don't hear much about their reaction when it, when we blaspheme anything Sikh related because it doesn't happen as much. But when it does happen, they are extremely sensitive about it, right? And this murder was celebrated widely, right? As an act of heroism, like this was this was condoned by a lot mm -hmm. of yeah by a lot of other Sikhs. So you can see that this is a. Um, also, guys, a lot of people are saying we should do blasphemous art against Sikhism. We already have, right? So we already have that. Um, however, I don't think because of uh, I don't think we should do anything in response to this because our blasphemous art is like a celebration of sex and sexuality, and I don't think that would be a proper response to something like this. But yeah, what, what did you want to show? Um. So here, let me blow this up a little bit. You can see this one guy who was accused of murder. So here he is on the right when he's been arrested and taken to the police. And here he is like, I think either turning himself in or being taken to the police beforehand. And you can see all of these huge garlands all over him, including this right here is a huge garland of money um and then here are two other guys who were arrested or who have been identified in uh, connection to the murder and they also have these very festive um garlands all over themselves obviously uh given to them as uh, like gifts and congratulations um you can tell the nihong Sikhs. um you can identify them because they wear this deep indigo or blue. And I was looking this up. Apparently they are like a warrior or like a martial order within Sikhism. And they have their history of winning battles um, when they're severely outnumbered. And so um, people who aren't familiar, like Sikhs are mandated to carry a kirpam or like these little um, knives or swords on them all the time. And, but usually they're not like real weapons. These guys seem like they are legit armed, like all the time. Um, all right, let me speak for a second. This mm -hmm. is what a moron. You are incapable of listening to what we're saying. Look at this. Look at this stupid idiot right here, okay? He's saying, Mia is saying, so Armin, who, so Armin, who isn't afraid of blaspheming against Islam, is afraid of blaspheming against Sikhism. Now we found his weak spot. You are a moron. Can Did you not just hear what I said? We have already blasphemed. We already have blasphemous art against Sikhism. Uh, do you have hearing problems? Are you a moron? I think oh you are God. a moron. Like, we, I, just, I just told you that we have blasphemous art already against Sikhism. How stupid can you guys be? We have it. It's on blasphemousart.com. Go see it. But go on, Susan. Um, well, what's so tragic about this is that um, his family, the victim's family, says that they described him as mentally challenged. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Um, so I'm curious if that um, played any role in this incident. Um, Apparently, so for those who are not familiar, there's been a long-term protest going on in India regarding um, a farm bill. And a large part of the um, community that is involved in this protest are Sikh farmers. They have a heavy presence. 
in um, in this historic one of the world's largest ever protests. And so they have these kind of camps where they're protesting and on this specific border of this protest, which is um, falls within the Haryana state is where the area where this happened. And um, so apparently some people are saying that he joined the protest like four days before this incident and that he had done some sort of service for this group of Nihong Sikhs. And then they invited him to stay with them um, in return for his service. And then it's not entirely clear what happened following that. I mean, like I said, there are so many different allegations about how he actually um, disrespected this holy book. The, um, there are some reports that maybe um, he just like removed some protective religious covering from the book. Um, but one of the Nihong Sikhs who was supposed to be the bodyguard of it said that he went to go take a bath. And when he came back, he saw him like trying to run away with the book. And then when they caught him and then uh, proceeded to beat the crap out of him, they found matchsticks in his pocket. And they're saying this shows that he has the in had the intention to burn it and then proceed to um, amputate his limbs, essentially. Um, and the um, many of the people who have been involved in arresting the murder so far have... Um, expressed like zero remorse for what they've done they've have doubled down and said that they would do it again and they will do it against anyone who um you know does such sacrilege against their book because in, in sikhism um i i don't know if it's only for the main um book which is the guru Granth something um but they believe that this book is actually their guru. Like it's not just a book. It is also a living embodiment of their guru. And then, so they're saying like, he actually tried to pick up and run away with our guru. Like you cannot touch our guru like this. And that was part of the impetus or motivation um, behind this murder. Um, he was also stabbed a number of times, um, and he ended up, uh, dying of his injuries, um, bleeding out in the blunt force trauma, unfortunately. And then afterwards they hung up his body on a, like a, a police barricade that's part of the protests. But what complicates this is that because the farmers protest has had such a heavy Sikh presence, and this has to do with the farming communities in Punjab um, and where historically India gets a lot of its farming and the communities that does that work. Um, there are people who are among the leadership of the farmers protest who are saying that this is actually an inside job. They're trying to claim that this is actually an effort to delegitimize the farmers protest um oh, they always say that though every time every time i mean everything is possible but the standard narrative is every time you hear a story that you don't like with no evidence you just go and claim that it's a conspiracy that's what people do and i see that so much in india like oh i don't like this story it's made up. I don't like it. It must be made up. Fake news. Fake news is a conspiracy. This is just a way for the other side to make us look bad. Like, okay, how do you know? Show like, oh, the proof for why this is fake news is that I don't like it. Yeah. So they were alleging that he was planted by the chief minister or some representative of the local state Haryana's government. And um, so who who am I getting this quote from? Um, they, uh, but, 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 so this person was alleging, quote, they conspired to blame the movement, which is why they sent him. We have evidence. He was paid 30,000 rupees to desecrate our holy book. Um, I, I am kind of, yeah, 
it seems... Wait, so did you mention that they've been arrested already? All the people yeah. responsible? At, mm. at least three men have been arrested for the murder, and I think there's others who have been arrested for other aspects of this crime. Um, but mm. definitely at least those three. But, um, and they, they like were claiming the murder, like this sect or this group of this sect, these Nihon Sikhs were like claiming it, um, based on some of the reporting I've seen from India, like granted it was from what seemed like a very right leaning, um, news source. This is a more radical, um, mm. sect of Sikhs. Um, like I said, they are like literally historically warriors, um, mm. and they we have take to, this very seriously. We have to be careful, though, okay, because this is going to be used, maybe, uh, as justification for all sorts of horrible treatments of Sikh people in India. Well, right? I'm just, I just want to yeah. make sure that we are condemning this type of behavior um or the people directly responsible or for this right but what what i've noticed in india is uh, actually everywhere is people that are very collectivist and now they want to hold an entire group of people responsible for the crimes of a few and they will collectively want to ju you know justify punishing or retaliating against the sikhs as a whole you know i'm all, i'm Pretty sure the vast majority of Sikh people are not like this. And if you want to use this story as a way to attack the Sikh community in India, then you're a horrible garbage person. Oh, wait, no, you're not um, YouTube. Last time I said garbage, YouTube was like, okay, I take that back. Um, you're just a horrible person. Apparently, I'm not used to use language that might dehumanize, that we consider dehumanization. Okay, so you're just a horrible person. Yeah, well, I mean, I understand where you're coming from. I have, when I was looking for up the story, like, I did see a lot of people complaining that the Indian left, quote unquote, would basically um, excuse this behavior because it was from a minority group. And so I think, yeah, it, it goes both ways. Like, we, you have to be responsible when talking about something as drastic and horrific as what you know this minority within minority did um but and you have to hold them actually accountable and not make excuses for it just because they are a minority but at the same time you can't you shouldn't um demonize them so yeah um apparently this has this whole episode has sparked a lot of more people looking into what this sect of sikhism is um there have been a lot of n news articles posted online just like explaining what this sect is um after this murder because people are trying to understand like what's going on so i don't think it is represent mm. Ugh, i have seen a lot of violence over sikh sacrilege before um mm. so i don't yeah, think there i don't think most would go or <laughs> at this far yeah Guys, do not come up with any conclu conclusions about the Sikh community as a whole. Um, you like it, the people who say, "Oh, I thought Sikhs were this and that." Just like reports of Sikh people being nice doesn't sh you shouldn't you make you think like all Sikh people are the same, nice, and you know this also shouldn't make you think like, "Well, okay, the Sikh community as a whole must be dangerous and horrible." Like if you're coming up with conclusions like that, you're you your analysis you know the way that you come up with conclusions is extremely flawed okay if you look at like oh this story makes me come up with a decision about this entire community as a whole you being you being stupid you being stupid this is not how you come up with conclusions okay this is your mind on, on collectivism um all right do you want to add anything or highlight anything in the live chat um, I don't know. I guess the only thing that I want to add is that, um, you know, it's important to remember that pretty much all religious communities have this issue to some extent, and that this is part of the danger of holding things 
as sacred and holding things above scrutiny and above ridicule. Um, because if it is, if you hold anything as above those things, um, people are going to enact violence in an effort to protect it at some point. Um, yeah. Right. So here's another interesting thing. Okay. So Mia, Mia, you're making, so you agree with me, Mia saying, I agree. Jumping to conclusions and generalizing doesn't help. I agree with you as well. Generalizing doesn't help. So go look at the few comments back and look at this. The Indian left will excuse all excesses of minority groups. That is generalizing, Mia. You're talking about the Indian left and you're talking about all of the Indian left. That is called generalizing. So maybe listen to your own comment if you comments down and stop generalizing. Okay? Great. <clears throat> But yes, I agree. Stop, do not generalize. I like this comment from Loving Beast. Bad ideas shouldn't be iconified. Be equal opportunities offenders through logic. Mm -hmm. You're getting pixely. I'm sorry. I There's nothing I can do about it at this point. If it's really bad, I can refresh. Okay, okay. Wait, hold on. You're becoming like a Picasso art. <laughs> um all right so can we all the same we... armin showing off his arm muscles and toad i'm not saying, lad's been working out i have i have okay yeah this is what <laughs> this is what showing off looks like i wasn't even showing off now i'm showing off but now i will now i will there we go <laughs> Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.